Welcome to Sandbanks, home of the mega rich. It's truly a millionaire's playground. Here you can see Sandbanks Peninsula, with Shell Bay to the right and Brown Sea Island to the left. Millionaires row is along a bottom edge, complete with their own private jetties. Although this is the famous row of houses, the whole of Sandbanks is full of multi-million pound homes. We're going to start the tour right at the top there in the narrow entrance to the peninsula. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and hit the likes, it'll help us a lot to reach a bigger audience and grow to bring you better content. We're now at the entrance to the peninsula, looking into Pool Harbour. Here you can do sailing, kayaking, windsurfing and paddleboarding. Everything is available to rent. The harbour is sheltered and the water is around waist deep and often knee deep when the tide is out, just like the moment. Sandbanks Hotel, ideally situated with a prestigious blue flag awarded beach on one side and Pool Harbour on the other. At the time of filming the room's prices range from just under £200 to over £300 with breakfast. Jazz Cafe. This cafe is loved by locals and highly recommended by holidaymakers. It's where you can enjoy home cooked food and drink all year round. Every other Sunday between 1pm and 4pm you can enjoy the finest live jazz in the south. You can enjoy up to seven miles of Blue Flag Beach. Some of these chalets at the time of filming in April for August time are available for around £40 a day. Here you can see a crazy golf, children's play area, the main Sandbanks car park and beyond the start of the main peninsula area.
way in the distance on the right you can see old Harry's rocks on the Jurassic coast and to the left where the whiteness in the distance is the Needles area of the Isle of Wight. Looking back along a beach beyond all the various chimes is Bournemouth. <music> Not quite sure what to say about this in such an affluent area, really. This is the main car park, although it looks big in the summer, there's long queues up the road. Signs Seafood Restaurant. I've been there myself. Great food, drinks, and service in a sophisticated environment with amazing views. Just look at the quality of the cars there. This is the house we saw on the map earlier. These prices are per week. Panorama Road forms the northern section of the Loop Road around Sandbanks before turning southwards to what has become known as Millionaire's Row. Wheelhouse and nautical feel to the gates. Even millionaires still have the problem of bringing in the wheelie bins. Lazy Jack's serving a modern British menu with locally sourced seafood along with contemporary takes on classic dishes from around the world. The first house on the right with the boats on the beach is currently on the market for four and a quarter million pounds. What a great water feature and the start of some nice topiary in that garden. Let's have a look around the back of these two houses. 
private jetties with a view to Bernsey Island and its castle. Most of the properties on Milliners Row are behind high electric operated gates. We'll get a better look at the backs of some of these houses soon. The famous Harbour Gatehouse, once owned by Harry Redknapp, sold for 10 million a couple of years ago. This is the back of Millionaire's Row, each with the private jetty. A good view of Brownsea Island Castle in the background. Small queue building up for the train ferry across to Shell Bay. It's a big shortcut to Swanage. We'll see a sign later how long a queue can actually get, which must be really annoying for the residents here. The Sandbanks chain ferry, which crosses the entrance of Pearl Harbour to Studland, and in doing so connects the coastal parts of the towns of Bournemouth and Poole with Swanage and the Isle of Purbeck. This avoids a 25 mile journey by road on a return trip. Listen to the chains taking attention.
Haven Hotel. I stayed here a year ago, a very pleasant experience. Comfortable rooms with a warm and friendly atmosphere. It's got a great bar and restaurant too. A very palatial looking house, even with two lions. Dunbarns has an amazing tree collection. Large cedars, Scots pines, Monterey pines, to mention just a few. These will no doubt be covered with tree preservation orders. A two bedroom flat here will cost you £2,300 a month. As I mentioned earlier, the queues for the ferry must get really annoying. Well, we're back at the start. The tide has come in now. I hope you enjoyed our little adventure. And if I missed anything important, please let me know in the comments. And if you would like me to film a walking tour or somewhere else locally, just give me a shout. I'm Simon and I'll see you in the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, enable notifications so you don't miss the next episode. See you next time.